what was launch day like? Like Opening the restaurant, day? names on the building. Yeah. Line up around the corner. No, no lineups, no lineups then. No, um, we did sell out. We sold out. Okay. I was very, I was very impressed about it. Very happy. Did you take a moment to look and be like, "We're here"? Yeah. Well, mom and dad were there for the opening. You were there. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I remember I was just like baking in the back all day, mm-hmm. and then coming out with like my big necklace and <laughs> dress. <laughs> <laughs> I remember having to go to 7-Eleven to buy peanut butter cups because we ran out of cheesecakes. Right. Um, but yeah, on, I just on opening day. Point. Yeah. Oh no. Was that stressful? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But but like it was good that we sold out. Like I wasn't. I had no idea how much to make. I think I just made as much as I possibly could because it was just yeah. me. Yeah. yeah. Making everything, and then when I'd have custom cakes, I'd have to like do those on top of everything else. So it was yeah. It was a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember ever sitting down and being like, okay, in six months we're going to be here. And then in a oh, year, no. this is like the plan. It was always just day to day. We were like, just trying to survive. You would ask daily. how we'd like decided to get different kitchens and like yeah, yeah. grow the business that way. There was never really like, okay, in a year we're going to no. have three locations. It was, we ran out of space in our little tiny kitchen. We were pissing off a lot of customers because we couldn't keep up and we couldn't keep the yeah, cooler stock. People stopped. got so angry. People got so like, mad. Trying. <laughs> so mad. Do you so, have a- reaction that you remember any hate comments oh my gosh, there's what's so one that many. sticks because as much as we say we don't read the comments i've got a couple that i, yeah. I they're there <laughs> we don't read the comments yeah. anymore no, okay that is just i do oh which which one then? which one which one hurt you the most uh well this wasn't like really oh, i guess it was our first valentine's day mm-hmm. and that was the first day i ever went on was it google reviews or yelp or something yeah and it gutted me i was oh, so no. depressed yeah. Because I like I'd never read them before, and I I just assumed that people you know liked what we did and whatever, mm-hmm. and it was just they were bashing our products, they were bashing us as people. Mm-hmm. They were it was so what did it they? was so rude. Uh, what were some of the comments? I just remember them being so mean. Yeah. Was there any positive ones? Yeah, 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 but you yeah. Never okay, okay. No, you never. Of course not. Right? No, no. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I you think get people thousands. mostly like if you're so happy with something, you're not you're not gonna go write about it online. Yeah, for yeah. The most mm-hmm. part. Of but if you're mad about something, that's the first oh, thing that these people do. And yeah, and I think it was a lot of like, I think competitors too would add stuff in because some things mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I know who you are. Yeah. Um, uh, should I tell a story about? Yes. The first- <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. We can cut it up. But I just kind of okay. know. Um, well, it was my it was my opening day. I think it was like the second first week. week. First or second yeah. week. Yeah. Um, so the one who told on me to the city, her husband came in and I, I knew who he was, um, ordered some stuff and whatever. I'm like, okay, enjoy. See ya. And the next day she comes in and she has a bag with her and she's like, oh, I just came to congratulate you on your opening. I'm like, oh, thanks. That's nice. I thought maybe she, <laughs> I thought maybe she like brought me a present or like, cause some people like bought a bottle of wine or something like really nice. Um, I'm like, okay, maybe this, maybe she's like turning a leaf. This is nice. And then she's like, yeah, I have a present for you. She's like, well, show me around. I'm like, well, this is it. <laughs> like, I'm not going to take you to my kitchen. No. And she's like, well, show me the kitchen. I'm like, no, Ooh. no. And she's like, trust me, you're not going to want to do this out here. I'm like, <laughs> and she walked past me into my kitchen and then threw the bag on the counter. She's like, open it. I'm like, okay. And I, I opened it and inside was our box of treats and I opened it and on our cheesecake, there was like a hair on top. I'm like, you probably... Put that yeah there. but even if you didn't like okay it's like that's disgusting she's like this is my present to you you can't run a business like this it's so oh, inappropriate man. so un- unprofessional i'm like <laughs> okay like get out <laughs> like, get 20 fuck? years on us too. yeah like she was so mean like i just start, i just opened this huge oh, no. accomplishment and she's trying to tear me down and then she said a bunch of other things and i was just like a deer in headlights i'm like can you leave please and one of my friends was helping me up front, and she's like, what is going on back there? <laughs> and um, so she left, and I was, like, in shock. And then we ended up sending her a letter that Trev wrote, just saying that she wasn't allowed to come back. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, our health inspector calls the next day, and he's like, we got a complaint about hair in the food. And he's like, I actually know who this is, and I know she's one of your competitors. And he was the nicest health inspector. Oh. He was so sweet. <laughs> um, and he was just like, you know... I have to call just because it's been reported, so I have to follow the steps. But just so you know, like this probably will happen to you. Get a thick skin, and like you're you're wow. gonna do great. And I'm just so nice. Oh my god! <laughs> I know this this is like 
not a, a real accusation, but like I'll come check things out, whatever. That's ridiculous. But yeah, so that's like one of the many things she she did to me throughout the years. But oh, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. My first week, I'm like that's so rude. Oh no. Yeah, she's yeah. a mean spirited person. Yeah. Damn. That jealousy just runs deep in Winnipeg. Yeah. Eh? Why? I don't know. I feel oh. like it's gotten a lot better. Yeah, I, I, sure. I would say yeah. Yeah, it's definitely gotten a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, like I think when I first started, like the cattiness was like pretty high. Mm hmm. But I never got into it at all. Like I was, I've yeah. always been like, I consider myself a nice person and like would yeah. never try to ruin someone. No, like I that. think there's enough room for everybody. I don't I understand the like scarcity mentality. And she was so, she's such, she was such a good cake designer too. Mm -hmm. But our styles were very different. So like if you want something that she does, mm -hmm. then go for it. Like I would never, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, to this day, I, I still think she's like a really great cake decorator. But yeah, she was so mean. <laughs> she was just so mean. She like made me cry so many times. Damn, that's so oh, dumb. God. Yeah. There's room for everyone at the table. Totally. Yes. Like, yeah. you know, even even when we started this pod, there was like people like, yo, don't start a pod. Like, it's fine. If yeah. you're going to watch them, you, you may not watch us. But if you're going to watch us, you're going to watch us for what, yeah, what exactly. we are. Uh, yeah. It's never. And, and the, who are you to like be the ruler of all the podcasts? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. You know? And the better that you do is probably the better that she does as well because in yeah. case they can't come to you they're going to her mm -hmm. or in case they can't go to her they're coming yeah, to you i would still so, send people her way if i was fully booked because i knew she was good right you know so, so it's bizarre it's me <laughs> yeah, oh it's that's great weird. uh winnipeg, yeah. <laughs> winnipeg i'm sure it's in all the cities no 100 percent, 100 percent. it's the idea of competition though but yeah. you know both of you grew up competitive or you can play better mm -hmm. hockey i'm sure it runs in the family She's competitive, competitive yeah, right yeah. so yeah. did that drive you a little bit more like I will For show sure. you. I, I think she like it had the opposite effect than she had hoped. Yeah, she was like, you "Oh, they we're gonna turn her down." Yeah, but like she was trying to like dial it up. But yeah. I was like, "Absolutely not." Mm, <laughs> yeah. Now I'll show you. So yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah. Okay, so that was week one. 